Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant to set up shop in our city. Indeed, I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could. 
could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case, here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. Ready to excite the crowd? I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. Menawi, oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oh, Ven, oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Onol Menawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan. The chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. The best fortune's here for a day. Oh. Want armor that fits you like a glove? We'll make it for you.
Tidumad, I am Ulan, chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face, and it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi, who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaic say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaic say respect and listen to, are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisaignemeis. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island. Especially the kings of Hikmet. 
but I know we could learn many things from them, and we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago, but I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life, because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaixe. He could be attacked at any moment, alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter.